Hi, I'm Elijah Rivera, and we are Design Robotics. Today, I am going to be talking about these three motors. These two motors help the wheel move. This one medium motor we use for attachments. I'm Alfonso, and I'm going to be talking about the three sensors. These two sensors are the color sensors. These help the robot see color. This, this sensor is the driver sensor. This sensor has to have a turn and see angles. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tyler Reynolds, and all the problems we faced building robot was really hard, but the main problem we had was adjusting the pieces around the wheels because we didn't have the right size wheels. And that was a major setback because we only realized that halfway through building our robot. I am Zion Goni Denson. I am going to explain the attachments. The first attachment was the silver lance. The silver lance is easy to build and it can pop on easily to the robot right here or right here. It was mainly used for the slide machine to push the um, child in off the side and slide down. Um, the piece is easy to pop off and put your back on to go. And if ever anything happened to the piece, if anything we forgot or anything, it's easy to construct by over here. The next piece is the bulldozer. The bulldozer easily connects down here, which was mainly for the step counter to drive up and push this piece. The piece is really easy also to construct things to pop on. It's small so you can easily put it in your backpack also on to go. And the thing about and this and the good thing about the piece is that it would help the um, robot with some type of steering or it would help with friction. The next attachment are the wheels over here. The wheels were used for helping turning and it was also used for if they hit the wall, it could roll off the wall instead of scratching or any of sorts like that. It was really helpful with that. I am Valid Christian. And this mission is for the, the stairs mission. First, we use motors A and B to move forward. And once we get the black line, we use the sensors to track it. Essentially, we go left and right, like such like wheeling back and like back and forth, left and right, to move forward to the stairs mission. Then we have it move forward to push the stairs mission in. And once we're finished, we go to our next mission. Hello, I'm Richard. So, for the big, for the mission that I'm talking about. Motors A and B go forward for 2.8 rotations. Then they the motor A, the motor B turns clockwise for one rotation. After that it, both motors move forward for one rotation. Then motor B again turns clockwise for point five rotations. Then both motors move forward for two rotations.